Beginning in 2020, all U.S. dental schools must change their programs to be inclusive of patients with intellectual and developmental disabilities. A local dental school is already teaching students how to serve people with special needs. Tiffany Huertas finds out what the UT Health San Antonio School of Dentistry is doing to get ahead of these changes. And basically, we just have to wheel the, chair, the patient back into the, into the dental chair, and then the unit will place the patient in a more supplying position to allow the clinician to then manage the uh, work on the patient in a very easy fashion. At UT Health San Antonio School of Dentistry, they have been addressing the needs of patients with special needs. In our first two years, we've had um, pediatric dentistry. We're studying geriatric dentistry, and we touch on it again there. Dental student Kelly Jimerson is also co-president of Special Care Dentistry Association Student Network. Those in the association are dedicated to promoting oral health and well-being for people with special needs. Our main focus is community service events. We like to put together booths where we hand out um, toothbrushes, toothpaste, um, special types of toothbrushes like three-sided ones that make it easier for the parents and caregivers to brush their child's teeth. Kelly's interest in this topic started in college. I spent a lot of time in college volunteering with an organization that served um, individuals with special needs and that piqued my interest a lot so I sought out a personal caregiver part-time job um, in college and so between both of those areas I just fell in love with working with those individuals and their families. This year the Commission on Dental Accreditation approved new standards requiring dental schools to train students to treat patients with intellectual and development disabilities. We've already been teaching students how to work with patients with special needs uh, but, however, uh, they still have limited access to treat them based on our, our uh, capacities of our facility. The school has invested in a new clinic specifically addressing the needs of patients with special needs, which will open in the winter of 2021. These will be the regular operatories. Uh, they're larger than your typical operatory to allow for access for a wheelchair. According to Loomer, right now not every student has experiences treating patients with special needs from young to old. Students will now rotate through the new clinic, making sure they know how to cater to these individuals. The school will create an integrated course. For example, students will learn how to help patients with mobility issues get into and out of the dental chair. We want to make sure that they understand that no matter what your uh, uh, physical uh, ability is, what, uh, what, what your mental capacity is, everybody deserves access to health care, including dental care. The National Council on Disability first made recommendations following its 2017 report, in which they found people with intellectual and developmental disabilities regularly have trouble finding clinicians properly trained to treat them. The report also showed that people with intellectual and developmental disabilities were also more likely to have never had their teeth cleaned. Now changes to the predoctoral dental, dental hygiene and dental assistant programs are required to take effect by July 1st, 2020, with changes to the orthodontics programs required by January 1st. Myra.